Considering most of my recent smartphone gaming time has been strictly dedicated to rhythm games, I had high hopes that Atelier Online would fill the RPG void in my pocket adventures. Now that I've played it, while it's a step away from the graphics that are becoming more and more beautiful in console Ateliers, Atelier Online keeps the cute and colorful style of Atelier in this pocket journey, bringing in the gameplay loop that makes Atelier so fun in a simplified form, with plenty of quests for its main story and character events that are able to keep players busy for a while with a variety of mechanics to play with. As a newly localized game, there are a few little hiccups in its script and other things that can make playing through the story a little interesting, although nothing that ever makes it impossible to understand. And considering I had to force myself to put it down to make this video, so far, Atelier Online is a game that is easy to enjoy and slip into thanks to the amount of content in it, meaning there's plenty to keep playing with in this new alchemy journey for smartphones. Atelier Online is set on Bressail Island, an island said to be blessed by nature, which may explain why it's full of materials, and home to the academy where our protagonist studies alchemy, accompanied by a bright fairy called Peppermint as they live their academy life. On this island full of characters adorably named after herbs, the protagonist's goal is to become an alchemist that lives up to the expectations of those around them, having been practically raised by the academy and considering the staff and students of the academy their family, wanting to help them whenever possible. This helpful nature and goal sends them into Atelier Online's journey of meeting new friends, traveling, and learning about alchemy along the way as they explore this colorful Atelier world in the hope of becoming a great alchemist. As an Atelier game in pocket form, Atelier Online is faithful to the series and features all the things you'd expect. Gathering, fighting, synthesizing, and seeing events are all present in Atelier Online just in simplified forms, making it easy to open up your phone at any time and do any one of them, especially with plenty of events to see and quests to play through that means there's always something to do. Gathering is where things begin in Atelier Online, with the area near the academy being a good area to show off the many ways you can gather in this game. Where console Atelier may have you manually switch to different tools you've synthesized to gather different things, Atelier Online comes ready to let you pick things up, fish, and use a pickaxe to get materials from the start. And while there are special versions of these tools for when you want to get better items, since it's just one touch on the screen to gather, I like that it keeps things simple but still manages to have everything present. And since I'm still learning where to find everything, such as the fish I need to make leek soup, I'm excited to see more of the materials that this world has to offer. Once you've got a good amount of materials, it's time to synthesize, with this element also being somewhat simplified but still very visual like New Atelier. It's mostly a matter of making sure you have everything you need and then hitting the synthesis button in the middle that is nice enough to be easy to do that is great if you're synthesizing many attack or healing items or anything you need more than one of. One of my most recent discoveries with this system is that you can also synthesize while you're away from the academy, which I'm not sure how this would work practically but is a really nice addition when you run out of battle items while outside. It also helps to keep the amount of materials you're carrying under control, which is good as both the bag and container have a limit. This limit can be expanded with coal, the game's choice of special currency, but ever since I started synthesizing while traveling, I haven't felt the need, and being able to create items on the go helps keep things varied and lets me always be able to continue adventuring with ease. Speaking of battles like regular Atelier, they're also a good way to get materials and XP, and is where some of the game's cute animations shine, like the protagonist's apple attack that looks even cuter if you've taken the time to customize your character. This is probably the most simplified part of Atelier's mechanics, since almost everything is automated. Following the timeline on the side, characters automatically attack or use skills, and you can even select items to automatically be used if you pleased, making the only real active element here being that you can trigger items to be used immediately, kind of like Atelier Lelure if you're in a bind. While it does mean battle is more passive, I don't actually mind so much as if I'm playing on my phone these days, I probably don't have the amount of time to get into something that requires the amount of focus as Ryza 2 would. And the fast food function lets grinding be pretty quick too, so overall, it's set up well if you're looking for a light JRPG experience for on the go. In fact, if you're truly tired but still want to get quests done, there's even an auto-gather function that's easy to put on your desk and have going for extra materials, although I do prefer to play at normal speed and manually 
easily whenever possible. The mix of active and passive elements makes it easy to spend time in it with the parts you're interested in, with plenty of tasks to prepare for battles with like managing and enhancing equipment or feeding characters to get an extra stat boost, there are plenty of RPG elements to play with no matter how you choose to play. It's thanks to these features that depending on what you enjoy most in Atelier Online, you can make those features as active or as passive as you like, and if it happens to be something like battle, there's a multiplayer mode that lets you fight with other players that could add a little more excitement to battle, and there's also a single mode if you're looking to play like regular Atelier. On top of that, the current Totori event is a good preview at the kind of events we'll see in future, with it seeming that characters will give quests that unlock story events, and on top of these, chapters also have many side events that means there's plenty of story content, and while it's not all perfect at the moment, which I'll talk about in a moment, I'm still excited to see how other characters will be brought in. Overall, I think these mechanics have been put into this pocket-sized experience in ways that make a lot of sense, and still give plenty of variety in terms of gameplay and its gameplay loop that has each mechanic leading to the other, even while running around on the map, and the gameplay loop, much like in regular Atelier, makes it easy to get sucked in and not want to put it down, as you move quest to quest and enjoy all the little tasks in between that link together. The gameplay loop in Atelier Online is where it shines and allows me to get past some of its flaws, which is good as it does feature an imperfect localization that could definitely do with some polish. The localization isn't usually off meeting wise from what I can hear in the Japanese VO, more so it just has some interesting choices with the way it translates certain things, and while it's not a huge issue right now as the game is mostly filled with new characters that we're still getting to know, it makes me a little concerned for how some of the characters from the main game will be translated going forward as the translation leads quite literal. Choices to translate sniffles and fake crying to the bratty sounding boo-hoo, or sounds of frustration having these sweet girls exclaim Jesus, who I'm pretty sure isn't in the canonical Atelier universe, sees the script break immersion on top of the occasional untranslated word or the use of Japanese words like kawaii. And while I'm starting to get used to some of its quirks and have been able to get to know the characters just through the sheer amount of content, it would be a much smoother experience if the local localization was more natural. I hope for upcoming events and content, the team take more of a look at the localization, as when you have an era in the very first screen of the game, I know that's something that would make me bounce out of a title I don't know so well, so I hope it's sorted out in future to help newer players have a better impression of the game and Atelier, especially since the main game's localizations have gotten so good. The localization is the most obvious issue, as it comes up the most often, but on occasion, I also encountered bugs in my time with the experience, some that didn't matter so much, such as ones that rebooted my app after somehow clearing quests I hadn't done, but the most noticeable one was the one I found in the current Totori event that saw me finish it a little too easily. After I had fun talking to her and she gave me her quests, after completing the first goal of getting her a fish, instead of requiring me to give her the next item before unlocking the next part, all parts of the story were able to be unlocked by just talking to her, with these conversations having her thank me for things I never gave her. At first I wondered if it was because we weren't able to synthesize some of these things yet, but I mean able to synthesize the items and ingredients since, so I hope future events are a bit more polished in terms of this, as events are one of the main things that keep me coming back to my smartphone favorites. To give credit where it's due though, it's mostly a smooth experience, and I don't walk around in the game expecting bugs to pop up, and instead just enjoy my time with it for the most part. It's also probably worth keeping in mind that when I jumped into the Japanese version, to check on the quest issue, I encountered a bug while auto-gathering, so while I haven't spent enough time in that version to say if it's just the source, this would suggest that it's definitely not just in the English version. All in all, I hope we see more polish in the future, but at least it's been good at compensating players when there's been bigger issues like not being able to log in, so I hope they'll keep supporting the game in the future with content and improvements in future updates. As most smartphone games do, Atelier Online features a gacha, with the current one at the moment featuring Totori and the banner that's allowed me to get her hat using the premium currency coal. Free coal can be used in the banner and other gachas and can be earned by playing the game, with a 10 summon gacha costing 300 coal and the daily missions able to give you 12 a day if you complete them, along with many side quests having them as rewards too. So if you're really trying to pull a character, you can play the game to get what you need, and I'm sure there will be more 
opportunities to get them as the game gets more content. There is also paid cold that can give access to special things like item packs, cheap attend summons, and more. With 300 cold that would get you 110 summon costing around $30, which I consider a little high, but is also in line with other smartphone JRPGs I've played like Sinnoh Alice. As someone who's played completely free to play so far, I haven't really felt the need to have more, especially since I already got one Totori related item in one pool that lets me feel satisfied. But to give you an idea of how often you can expect to be pulling, I played around 13 hours and have done about eight pulls, some 10 summons, some with free tickets compensating for errors. But this has been more than enough for me, especially since I'm sure Totori will pop up in the game again in future. And I'm mostly being focused on the current event that will give Riser out for free for completing missions anyway, that I hope they consider doing again for other characters as I've enjoyed the scavenger hunt, and it's a nice move to get free to play players some of these hard to get characters. The gutcher elements aren't something I've thought any more about in this game than I have in other smartphone games, when the main thing I'm thinking about at the moment is how I'll continue leveling up my characters to get as many riser credits as possible, and the enjoyable main stories and quests feature a story I'm interested to see more of, and the variety of goals for alchemy, gathering, and fighting make it easy to jump back into, and I'm glad after all those times I tried the Japanese version and got stuck within its tutorials that there was a fun smartphone game to get to after that's very immersive and easy to play for a long time. For fans of Atelier looking to scratch that itch on smartphones, Atelier Online is a great way to do this, with its fun customization, Atelier mechanics, big world, and story to explore, giving players plenty to keep busy with, no matter how much time you have to play. It's not going to rival console Atelier with its quality and depth, but the simplified mechanics are what makes this game so easy to jump into, and with the fact it gives you many quests to keep learning about its world and gaining things to level up your characters with, make it all feel very playable, and I'm happy to say that for these reasons, it's filled the JRPG void in my smartphone gaming time just like I wanted it to. I do hope it improves on its localization and the bugs I encountered in future, but it's also early days for Atelier Online in English, so hopefully we see improvement in that as time goes on. But in its current form, it's a slightly quirky but very fun experience for fans of Atelier and JRPGs, and I'd recommend it to anyone who's looking for a JRPG to add to their smartphone gaming roster too, as the variety of simplified mechanics makes it easy to keep playing. Thank you for watching this video, let me know in the comments below if you've tried Atelier Online, and if you have, what did you think of it? And if you've watched to the end, I have a small surprise. Baltering Games, Atelier Online's publisher of the English version, reached out to me about making a video about it, which I was already planning on doing, but they were nice enough to offer a code to you guys that you can use in the game to get 3000 ether and a small XP potion. I'll put that code up on screen now. To use it in the game, go into the menu, hit code, and then enter it there. And I hope you guys enjoyed Enjoy that, and thank you again to Boltren for reaching out. You can like and share this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to my channel for more JRPG content like this, and ring that bell to get notifications on whenever I post so you don't miss a thing. You can check out more videos here, and you can find me on social media, on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, all at JRPG Jungle. Links to those will be in the description below, and until next time, thank you, bye!